Hi, this is Eric from Home Network Central, and I'm going to show you how to set up your Netgear C7000 V2 modem router combo real quick here. It's actually pretty painless. Uh, first, what we're going to do, well, first thing you have to do is plug in your connection to your to the internet, your ISP. It's going to be a coaxial cable, like a black cable with a, it's got a round piece. It screws right into the back of your router and there's only one place it can go into. So it's pretty self-explanatory. It's labeled on your router, it's labeled coax, and it's right above where the power plugs in. So once you have that plugged in and you have your router plugged in uh, to power, uh, you're gonna go ahead and go to your computer like you are right now. And you can either plug an ethernet cable in, the one that's provided, it's a, it's a nice yellow one. You can either plug that into the one of the yellow ports on the router and then plug the other end in your computer or you can connect to the Wi-Fi once the router boots up. We're gonna go ahead and connect the Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna go here, and the default networks are gonna be Netgear 49 5G or Netgear 49. So if, you're, if your device that you're connecting to, connecting with, supports uh, the five gigahertz uh, band, then you'll see this as an option. If not, you won't see it. But either one of these will be okay. I'm gonna go ahead and select the 5G option. And then the password for your network is actually on a sticker on the bottom or the whatever, it's either the bottom or the back of the router. Uh, it's just, there's a uh, one that'll say your network name. Mine says Netgear 49 and then it says the password, which mine happens to be DeepStar 300. DeepStar 300. So you type that in from the back of your router and hit connect. Now we just give it a minute down here, it's connecting. So we're connected, so now I can open up the browser. You open up your favorite browser and you go to 192.168.0.1 and then you hit enter. So now it opens up this. It looks like we're on the internet. It looks like we're on a web page, but it's really just something that's built into the router here. So it's going to ask you to change uh, the default password. I'm just going to make mine admin. I don't recommend you use the same thing. I recommend you use something better than that. You know, whatever you want to use. If you want to use admin, then go ahead. Uh, this is this will be for logging into the router. This is not going to be for Wi-Fi. This is your username and password for logging into the administrator user face, uh, interface. So you go ahead and select a few uh, security questions. This is so if you forget your password, whatever it is, it'll ask you these questions. And if you if you answer them correctly, it'll tell you what the password is or let you reset it or something like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and go through this real quick. Then you hit next. So I'm going to not save the password, but uh, it says, okay, congratulations. Here's your new Wi-Fi networks. So the first one is your 2.4 gigahertz network. And the next one is the five gigahertz network. Remember those two networks that we were trying to connect to in the beginning? There's, there's two of them and we connected to the five gigahertz one. Again, if your laptop doesn't support the five gigahertz band, you won't even see that in your options. When you come down here, you won't even see the 5G option on here. You'll only see the one that says Netgear 49 or whatever your network is called. Uh, you won't even see the 5G option if your laptop doesn't support it. Mine does, and that's the one we're connected to. Uh, the username is admin. I changed my password to admin. So I'm gonna go to next. And now it's gonna ask you the username and password that you just set. So for me, it's admin, and my password, again, was admin. So again, this is not for Wi-Fi. This is just for connecting to the administrator interface. Sign in. And then at this point, if you if you are subscribed to internet service and you are correctly plugged in and you plug that coaxial cable into the back of your motor uh, router modem combo, you should be good. You should be good to go right here. And uh, I'm not because I'm not actually plugged in. I'm not actually on an internet connection right now. I'm mobile. So I'm not, mine is not going to work. But yours should be good. Now, normally, 
when I do my videos, I would show you a trick, if yours is not working, where I would show you how to do uh, Mac cloning or Mac spoofing. And usually that'll help you get around this and it'll get you online. But this being a motor, a router modem combo, you can't actually do the Mac spoofing on this device. So if you're having trouble, if you're offline here and you're not able to get online, you're probably having an issue with your your internet service provider account, you might have to call them and tell them, hey, I got a new router and I need you to reset it for me. And they might ask you what the MAC address is or something like that, which it's on a sticker on the bottom, the same place where you got your, your password and your, your network name on the bottom of the router. There's another sticker that has your MAC address. So they might ask you for that or they might just reset it and say, okay, reset it or something or unplug it and plug it back in in five minutes or something but they'll help you out with that so again if you're not getting online right here if you got a big red button big ugly red button like i have call your isp because you might not be set up properly your account might be disabled or something something might have happened i can't give you my mac address spoof tip in this video because you can't change your mac address in this router so i hope that helped you out you should be online uh, if you want to get to your uh, your wireless network settings, you click this big button right here that says wireless, and then you can change your your name for your network like this right here, and there's the password, and here's the other network, and here's the other password. So if that helps you out, please give me a thumbs up. If not, give me a thumbs down and let me know why this video is awesome or let me know why this video sucks. If you got questions, you know what to do. There's a comment section. Thank you very much for watching. I very much appreciate it.